Hello everyone, it's Lori at artatdesigns.ca. I'm going to show you today how you can draw this really simple graphic in Inkscape. So this Atom logo that I've made is comprised of strokes and what I've used is the Boolean operation cut path. So we're going to learn about the behavior of cut path on strokes in this uh, tutorial. Just move that aside for now. I'm going to grab the circles and ellipses tool create an ellipse that looks something like this and we don't want to fill so I'm going to press shift and and black because we want a stroke and then press X to get rid of the fill so down at the bottom left it should say fill none stroke stroke is 10 pixels okay so to get to the stroke panel just click on this button right here and you should have these these options here make sure stroke panel says 10 I'm going to right click Duplicate this, click it again to get the rotation handles, press control, and we'll just move this to about there. We'll right click again, duplicate, flip it with this button right here. Okay, so that's our basic shape. Now what we want to do is cut this stroke here. So select the circle, press shift and control, and create a circle, and this circle will be a stroke that remembers the exact thing that you did last. So just make sure you have 10 pixels for that also, because we want it to match. So I'm going to use this to cut into this area here. Now how much you cut is up to you. The size of the circle will determine. So we'll do that. I'm going to press Control D to duplicate this. I'll press Shift and Red so we can see the difference here. Press Shift to select this, this uh, long black object. I'm going to go Path, Cut Path. Now it's hard to see what we've done right now. Basically, if I press Shift and Red, it's given us a, an extra piece here. So this is the piece that we want to delete. So you should have something that looks like that. I'll press shift and control, scale this down. I'm actually going to take the stroke off. Press shift and X. And then I'll just turn it black, just have a fill. Maybe I'll scale that back up. Okay. So we'll. Uh, Let's see if we can take a shortcut here. I'm just going to delete this one that we made. Press shift to select both of these objects. I'll group them. Right click, duplicate, and flip it. Okay, so that was easier. So let's do the same thing down here. Let's ungroup this here. Select this circle. Control D to duplicate it. give it a stroke, press shift and black, press shift to select this long circle, path, cut path, click off the graphic, we'll select this piece here and delete it. And then I'll just right click and duplicate this thing again, put it here. So now we'll just color this stuff in, press shift and select your pieces. And I say I'm gonna at this point I think I'm just gonna select everything and I'm gonna go path, stroke to path. That way we finalize it and it'll be easier to color. So we'll select these two pieces, press F7 to get the dropper tool. Actually for you, you just select whatever color you like. I'm just using the colors I've pre-chosen. F7, get the red. It's black, F7. Okay. And then we can just take one of these circles, right click, duplicate, shift and control, make it a little bit bigger. And then I will center it, press shift. So select the blue object, center, 
vertically and horizontally. Okay, so that's how you can use CutPath to create this interesting graphic using Inkscape. Thanks for watching.